heading into the playoffs with momentum, how big is that? I mean, the role you guys have been on, I think you've won 11 of 13, four in a row. How big is that to take some momentum in? That's good. You know, it gives you a confidence. Uh, you know, it means we, we establish a way of playing that uh, can work for us in the playoffs. Obviously, Toronto is a great team. Uh, you know, they're going to try to you know, go all the way to the finals. But, you know, we, uh, we believe you, uh, what we've done so far. I think these last two, three weeks uh, where we know every game mattered for us, we had to bring our best, kind of you know, prepare us in a way for that. So I think it was uh, good for us to have those big games. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Uh, just yesterday I had a little bit of a stomach bug, uh, but it's, it's much better today already. Can you pinpoint kind of the difference in the team right now heading in, you know, compared to maybe eight weeks ago, uh, ten weeks ago? I think it's just uh, we're more mature in a way. We just understand what it takes to win better. Uh, we understand what works for us, what doesn't. And uh, I think we do much better now is, you know, if we get down or if, you know, we have a lead and the team comes back. Uh, we're able to sustain it better. You know, we, we don't fall apart. Uh, we don't panic. Uh, I think we really learn from our mistakes early in the year. So uh, I think we just really established a way of playing. You know, our, our, our team chemistry has been great. You know, we play for each other. We support each other. Uh, offensively, move the ball great. On defense, you know, we, our communication is good. We really just, you know, have a good feel for each other on the court. And uh, it just comes from us, you know, from the beginning. Just, you know, we coach left, preaching it every day. Uh, making sure we, we you know we get it, and uh, I think just as time went on, we got it. And uh, you know, like I said, those big games really helped us kind of uh, cement that even more. After the six years of losing, why did you continue to say, "I want to be here. I want to be here. I want to. I want to lead this team out of this." Uh, well, I mean, no, I mean, like I always say, you know, it's something that I uh, the, the loyalty of being with one team, I think, is something that's special. Uh, you know, I you know, my first time I deal with the magic was four years, and uh, you know, I wanted to, to make it through. And uh, just being here from the beginning, I uh, wanted to be part of it. You know, I felt like if I had left, and uh, I'm like on a bad note, let's say on the losing or something, and it wouldn't feel uh, right for me. And uh, I think that you know, now that uh, we're in it, everything is just. It was all worth it, I guess, you know, because we made it, and uh, just feels, you know, it feels great. And uh, you know, it wasn't always easy; it was difficult times. Uh, but I knew that eventually we'd get there, and uh, we did. And uh, so all of it, you know, that we went through, now it just feels fine because we made it, and it makes it even more special that, uh, 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 that we did it the way we did it. When does, you the, does the um, urgency you guys have been playing with is that offset? Maybe the lack of playoff experience. The what? The urgency. Oh, you know, uh, that you play with down the stretch. Well, I mean, I think it definitely, like I said, definitely, I think prepared us for it a little bit. You know, we, we had every game for us was important. Obviously, nothing compares really to the playoffs, uh, the intensity of it, and where every little every play is important, every game is important. Uh, but it gave us, you know, a certain way to kind of get a feel for it. And uh, I think we, we can transfer that into, the, into the, the playoffs. Obviously, it won't be easy. You know, Toronto's going to take it a, a step forward. And obviously, they have guys that have a lot of experience in the playoffs, that have played big games, meaningful games. Uh, but I believe that you know, we, we know what it takes to, to play. And uh, we just have to go out there and, you know, play hard, play smart. Uh, you know, make, make sure, you know, we bring it every play. And uh, it won't be easy, you know, especially they're going to you know, have their fans going to be really behind them. And it's important for them. Uh, to, to win the playoffs, uh, but yeah, like I said, you know, if you play the right way, we're gonna have a shot. Thank you. How important is game one at Toronto? It's important. Uh, it's you know, just, just to start of the series, you want to uh, start off well. Uh, you want to establish a way that that's gonna work for you that you can play well. Uh, but it's very important, you know, especially in you know, the game. Uh, kind of, you know, obviously, you kind of want to see how the game is gonna go and everything, but you want to make sure you know you play well and. Uh, that first game, you know, especially for us, if we can go out there and win it, it could be huge, you know, especially for our confidence and everything. Uh, so it's a big game for both teams. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's the beginning of the series, so you want to come out right. You saw the connection that Dirk had with the Dallas fans with his last game the other day. Could you ever foresee yourself having that sort of connection with the Orlando fans? Uh, yeah, I mean, of course. Obviously, he's done you know, many great things for, for the Mavericks. Uh, you know, he's won a championship. He's won many, many... Uh, many games. Uh, he has. A, he had an amazing career. I don't know if I ever get to that level. You know, it's very hard. So you know, Dirk is one and only. You know, so the things he achieved is 
it's going to be hard for anybody else to do it. Uh, but yeah, he's one of the guys that obviously look up to when he when he's done that. And I mean, you see the, the appreciation he got from their fans and what it means to them that he stayed there this whole time is is special, man. Obviously, you don't see that uh, nowadays as much. Uh, so they will see. I mean, obviously in July I'm a free agent, so we'll see what happens. Rich, you, you saw Terrence a lot early in your career. You played in, you know played against him for five years before he came here. But in college too. Yeah, yeah, in college too. Uh, do you see a different guy now? I mean, he's taken more shots he's taken more threes he's made you know more threes than he ever has a lot of coaches say he's a different guy now do you see that I think so I mean I was I, I, that didn't know him you know that that well before and it's hard to judge a guy when you just play against him a few times a year uh, but since he's got here I was you know last year was difficult for him because he got injured early and he didn't play much uh, but I think that this year he just uh, uh, I think he's uh, I don't want to say like mature because it doesn't sound like he was immature before but it was just said he just really took a step forward and kind of, uh, you know, he, uh, I guess he matured into his role. He really got into his role and uh, he's become very consistent. You know, we, we know what's expected of him and uh, he brings it every day. And uh, I think that the, the role that you know Coach Click gave him really fits him well. Mm -hmm. And uh, but you see just the growth that he had, uh, the, the mental part as well. Uh, I think that was something that people always kind of try to hold against him. He's, uh, his consistency, but I think for us this year, it's been great. I mean, so many games, you know, without his shot making, we don't win, mm -hmm. and a lot of other things that he does as well for us. What's How Coach Cliff done for you to elevate your game? Personally, a lot, man, a lot. Uh, I know since day one, since he got here, you know, our communication has been great. Uh, he's really, you know, kind of, um, after had two difficult years here, last two seasons, he's, uh, you know, really kind of helped me, you know, uh, grow my confidence back, you know, really, you know, just, you know, uh, wanting to play through me, give me the ball in the spots that work for me. Uh, all those things kind of help you grow as a player. And then just his approach, I think, you know, me as everybody else on the team just fed off of it. And uh, it's helped us uh, grow as players as a team. Uh, but just, I mean, the way he's been using me this year just has been you know, pretty much perfect for me. I played inside out, uh, gave me the freedom to, to use my skill set to, to, to do uh, you know, what I need to do out there. And uh, But at the same time, you know, holding me accountable and by him doing that, I held myself accountable to high standard as well. You, know you also I mean? had the reputation for not being like a good defender, but Cliff says you're a really good defender. Is that uh, something he helped you with? No, he did. I think that the, the schemes that we have this year and uh, the, the way we defend this year, I think it's helped not only me, but everybody. Uh, I think I made strides you know, with that, in that area as well uh, a lot. Um, but, you know, just the way he's been using me and uh, just, you know, when, when you see a coach that has so much belief in, in you, like Cliff had in me since day one, without even ever coaching me before, uh, just, you know, it means a lot to you as a player. I think no matter how old you, you, how old you are, and uh, it's helped me a lot. And from day one, it's just behind me, he's been pushing me, and uh, he's made me even want to ask me more for myself as well. Would you please describe how is... an, an instance in which he held you accountable? Yeah, I mean, every game I uh, suck. <laughs> he would come at me, he would tell me. Like the Dallas game on the road before we went to Mexico, I didn't play well. Uh, he told me I didn't play well. Like, I mean, he held me accountable. And uh, I mean, I, mean I, I I already knew myself, but, you know, even just him, you know, telling me things like that. And whenever he felt something I needed to do better, he would tell me. And uh, nothing crazy. He would just, you know, call me two sentences. That was it. And I would get the message. Did he do it in front of Yeah, he did it in front of team. teams as much. If I, as much as the team, uh, a lot of times as well. And uh, I mean, not a lot. I sure had that many good bad games. But he did it in front of the team as well. And it was in. Uh, I'm fine with it. I want to be coached that way, and I think it, it, it fits, you know, uh, with my personality, and it helps me elevate my game even more. How important is it that he does that with the All Star, the longest yeah. tenured guy? Oh, well, it's very important. I think it, it sends a message to the team that he, if, you know, if he does it to me, and uh, that he, he shows that he treats everybody the same. That no matter if you're the best player in the team or not, you know, you're gonna get the same treatment. And also, my response to it, I think, shows the guy that you know, if, if I can accept the criticism, that everybody should as well. And so, yeah, I never had any issues, you know, with, with him. Actually, I, I appreciate when he does that, and I want him to be that way. Uh, but again, it was never anything like crazy. It was just you know, normal criticism that you would want as a player. Coach, you said years ago that Marcus is one of the strongest guys you've ever played. How, how are they different with him? It seemed like he tries to kind of move you off your spot and be physical with you. How, how is he different? 
Uh, How are they different with him? Yeah, I mean, he do, he brings a lot for them. Uh, obviously, you know, a big body for sure, but just, you know, he's IQ. He's just a very, very smart basketball player. Uh, just does a lot of things for them out there. You know, you look at the numbers since he's been there. They're, they've been all up for them, uh, you know, with his rolling, his passing, his short rolling, his post-ups, his three-point shooting. Uh, just elevates so much and just gives him a, a weapon out there that uh, makes it much harder for a defense. But just think he's just his IQ, man. When you put him on a, a guy that's like smart like that on the court, uh, that has as much experience as he does, you know, it's uh, it's very difficult. And uh, he puts a lot of pressure on the defense in different, many different ways. Uh, and it's helped him a lot for sure. Everyone good? Rich, how, was, um, how impressed have you been with the fan base here and how they've stuck with the team through what, everything you've been through? Maybe? They've been great. Uh, I mean, obviously, it hasn't been easy for them. Uh, you know, it was six years of losing now, we finally made it. It hasn't been easy, man. When you, when you cheer a team and they keep, they keep losing, it's not always fun. Uh, but they stuck with us. They're, they're always showing up to games. They always show their support, you know, wherever, throughout the city, wherever I've been. And uh, you appreciate that. And now you see that they're you know, very happy and excited that we're back into the playoffs. And I expect, you know, MOS to really be going to get going when we get uh, when we hear it. But I mean, even now, I mean, you feel the people just very excited for us and they're very behind us. And it uh, feels great, man. It's one of the best parts of being an athlete. Is that a playoff beard? Like a hockey playoff beard? beard or no, you? I always have a beard. It's just grueling. Are you going to grow one? Like, no, you know, no, 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 you're not allowed to go. I'm saving it for <laughs> okay. game one. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, trimming it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right.